Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. A few questions related to the Imam Development Program Project Qurbani 2021. The first question, why are you people getting involved in the matter of Qurbani, Imam Development Program? What does that have to do with the matter of Qurbani? The answer, we were recently in Malawi and many of the Imams suggested and requested that can't you guys assist us with Qurbani in our villages? We said, yeah, Imams. Many organizations, they slaughter animals in Malawi and distribute. But the Imam said, but that doesn't happen in our villages. The villages of Karonga and Liwonde and Mulanje and Balaka and Mangochi and Zimba and all of these places in Kota Kota doesn't necessarily happen in our small villages. And, and so it might happen in the major cities, the major towns and distributed to the poor in those areas. But our villages, years have passed and we've not really slaughtered any Qurbani. And thus, after returning from Malawi and making Mashura with certain and stakeholders we said inshallah let us try to organize qurbani for these imams 10 animals per imam we have 45 imams in malawi so this will give us a total of 450 animals ta'ala. so our primary aim and objective to enhance the position of the imam amongst his people the imam is the one in charge of the slaughter in charge of the distribution amongst the villages mashallah our imam is not any imam but he is Imam plus, walhamdulillah, his position and reputation is enhanced, walhamdulillah. Question number two, who will be in charge of this, of this slaughter? Who will be responsible for it? The answer, number one, the local imam, the imam of the imam development program, he will be in charge. And with him, there are three masjid committee members who make up his qurbani team. And then also the village chief is part and parcel of that team. So those five individuals are responsible for the slaughter, for the distribution, walhamdulillah. Then also, secondarily, the Imam Development Program, and at the end of the day, myself, Bilal Ismail, I am also responsible to ensure that everything occurs according to the book, walhamdulillah. The next question, these animals, where will they be sourced from? Are you purchasing from some major rich commercial farmer? The answer is no. Each imam will source the animals from his local goat herder, from his local goat man. And so via this, we enhance the economy in that in that small village. Walhamdulillah. Uh, so the imam might purchase all the animals from one goat herder or maybe two of them, 50-50. It's up to the imam, bi-ithnillahi ta'ala. He's responsible. Ten animals he needs to source. Walhamdulillah. What animals are being slaughtered in Malawi as per this uh, program? The answer is goats. That which is easily available in Malawi are these goats. Every village, every area, one can source goats. Walhamdulillah. The next question, what is the price per share? What is the price per animal? Well, according to South African rands, it's 950 rands, inshallah. And the dollar equivalent will be $70. $70, bi-ithnillahi ta'ala. The next question, when's the deadline for me to book my animal and sort out payment? We are trying, inshallah, and we hope, we hope that everyone sorts out their payment before the 5th of July. That's giving us enough time. Time for all matters. The 5th of July, bi-ithnillahi ta'ala. Many Imams have indicated that they have capacity even beyond 450. If, for example, anyone has any specific request, any organization out there, institute want to partner with us, ahlan wa sahlan. We are most open to any type of cooperation. Walhamdulillah. The next question. Are these animals after slaughter, what areas will you be distributing the animals in? Uh, the answer, the local area of this Imam, inshallah. We have 45 imams, 45 different areas and locations. Mangochi, Balaka, Kiyungu, uh, Blantyre, Machinga, Liwonde, Mulanje, Zomba, Lilongwe, Mzimba, Karongan, Kota Kota, all of these different areas of Malawi. Walhamdulillah. Jamil. The next question with regards to distribution, how will this occur? Well, the imams from now, they have been given 100 vouchers each. So the imam will hand out his 100 vouchers to the local villages. On the day of Eid, they will come to the masjid with their voucher, alhamdulillah, and each one of them will collect a meat parcel. Remember, in most of these villages, there's no electricity. They don't have refrigerators. He cannot keep two, three, four, five kilograms of meat there for a few days in his house. No, it's not going to 
to happen? They do not have electricity. And thus, with 10 goats, plus minus, we will get 100 parcels of plus minus 1.5 kilograms of meat. And so each villager will be given one parcel, bi-idhnillahi ta'ala, one voucher, one parcel, walhamdulillah. The next question with regards to payment details, uh, then they are all below. There's uh, the landing page, there's the page which has all of the information related to this uh, program. You can send us an EFT, you can pay via credit card, via PayPal, different options available. We have many partners, walhamdulillah, the al Kothar Institute, uh, Global Sadaqah, and many others, walhamdulillah. Ya Abdullah, Ya Amat Allah, as we mentioned, that via this program, we will be enhancing the position of the Imam, and this in reality is a great ni'mah. Number two, we will be supporting the local goat herder, bi-idhnillahi ta'ala. Hayyakumullah, join us in this program. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.